Hi, welcome to the PACEIT JavaScript Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. In this video, a JavaScript event will be explained. You'll be provided with some example code. Additional possibilities for the use of this event will be talked about. You'll be presented with what you should know or take away from this video. And finally, additional resources available for your learning on the topic. The click event is one of the most basic events the users will do. From clicking on a link to clicking on a thumbnail image, users click on different elements of web pages all the time. So how does the browser process this event? Browsers include a JavaScript interpreter that listens and responds to the user's click. Once the user has clicked on an element, the browser captures the click, the browser captures the element that the user has clicked on, and passes those two pieces of information off to the JavaScript interpreter. If the code written by the web developer has no errors, the interpreter will pass back to the browser the action that needs to be done. All of this takes place in nanoseconds. Let's take a look at some example code. Okay, In the code that we're looking at, we're going to be looking at line 21, and we've added an on-click event to an on-click event handler to a division that is identified uniquely as demo. We're looking at the on-click reacting and changing the document, which is the current loaded document, the element that we've uniquely identified as demo, which is where we're putting the on-click event handler, and we're working with the inner HTML. We're going to change the contained text, which in this case is click me, to you clicked me. Let's go ahead and run the code, and I'm going to use Firefox right at the moment. And what we're going to have changed is where this click me has, and it's actually the whole division which is in white here. So I'm going to click, and it changed to you click me. The on click event handler can be added to many different HTML elements. OnClick can be used with links, paragraphs, images, divisions, buttons, form elements. It cannot be used with elements such as break, name, head, style, and the title elements. Be sure that you fully understand that the click is the event, OnClick is the event handler, and the event happens when the user clicks on the elements. So you should take away from this video that the user must click on some element to initiate any action that is taken place by the event handler on click. On click instructs the browser to start the JavaScript interpreter to process the code written by the web developer. If there are no errors, the interpreter passes back to the browser what it will do. You can place your executable code in line as done in the example, or you can call a function. More on functions will happen in the next module. As always, test your code. Test your code in major browsers. We all have our favorite browser when surfing the web. As a developer, you should need to verify that your code works in alternate browsers. So don't just leave us as your only learning resource. There are some other resources that I can recommend that you take a look at if you need more information. HTML coding tutorial, and the link is provided for you. The JavaScript kit on Click Event Handler and Tizag.com events. So your next steps should be, first of all, practice does make perfect. Copy the code that was provided for you, run it to see that it works for you. Once you've done that and you feel you have a good understanding of this event, create your own practice scenario. Write up your HTML, see if it works. And always if you need any additional help, be sure to ask for that from your instructor or your mentor. Thanks for watching. I'm Marty Baker.